Hey everybody, Prepper Nurse One here. Today is Friday, April 27th, 2018. Uh, very, very mild day, very nice, uh, sunny. Well, so I'm gonna go, first of all, I'm gonna talk real quick. We pulled in 5.4 kilowatt hours yesterday, so we had our best uh, day of the year solar-wise. Really, really good day solar-wise. Uh, we've already pulled in today and it's only two in the afternoon right now. Uh, I've already pulled in 3.2 kilowatt hours already today. So real good production on the solar. So I'm real, real happy about that. Um, anyway, so uh, that being said, uh, wanted to give in a little announcement. Um, I'm going to be on a, basically you can call in a uh, talk thing tonight um, on the Watchman. It's a, a news channel and uh, he has his own channel, and a uh, guy that hosts it, his name is Mike, and um, his channel is called The Watchman, and I'm going to be live on there tonight from 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, which his time is 6 to 8, okay? So um, the link for that is going to be down below in the description. So if you're interested, if you want to uh, call in, Ask me a question, talk, whatever. We're gonna be. I'll be on there for uh, two hours, and uh, so this be a first time being live on uh, online. So I think it'll be kind of interesting. Uh, he had asked me to do that. And I told him that I would. So um, if you want to look ahead of time and go out and check the Watchman news, uh, I probably am gonna put this video up uh, sooner uh, than I normally would today, just to give people time to go and look at it and see. So that you guys, if you're interested in going over there and checking it out, and uh, you know that way you can go and see. And uh, like I said, he's live. He goes live for four hours every day. Uh, he is on from 4 to 8 p.m. Uh, his time. So that would be 5 to 9 uh, Eastern Standard Time. So, uh, but uh, so anyway, if you're interested and you'd like to to chat, ask questions, whatever. Uh, feel free to call me over there, okay? Because that is where I will be at. And so, anyway, so that's that'll be that'll be. I think it'll be fun. I'm looking forward to doing that. So I'm going to be on there from 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time to 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time um, tonight. So uh, we'll be doing that. So anyway, uh, what else is going on? What was I going to talk? Oh, so there's, you know, um, I had. Uh, I don't even know really how to broach this subject. I had I did the video about South Africa, and uh, basically talking about white genocide, and uh, it amazes me. Actually, let's let's. Okay, yeah, we'll, we'll we'll get into that in a second. Okay, so there's been a lot of uh, hate basically because of that video uh, from some people saying that it's deserved and they're getting what they deserve and blah 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 blah. well the people that are alive now are not the ones that stole this land from the south africans okay uh they were not you know maybe the land was stolen uh it, 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 and it's like and i've gotten a lot of well you know white europeans now here's the things what i love being called i love being called a white devil so thank you i am a white devil thank you very much maybe i'll get that uh, a t-shirt and it says white devil underneath it and sell that um, <laughs> you know it, it's just it, it amazes me how um, people like to blame everybody else for their problems so I've had a lot of people saying how okay well you white Europeans went over and you stole all the land and you killed all the Indians and stuff like that well let's remember here uh, black folks let's uh, let's let's clarify something one in four cowboys I think it was back during those time periods was black just so you had a hand in it too uh my black friends so thank you we appreciate the help i mean it's just ridiculous i mean here's the thing is have there been injustices that have happened through the years yes on all sides okay uh, black people are not innocent white people are not innocent um, indians are not innocent okay did we come over here and conquer the land uh a lot of Europeans and stuff like that. Yep, we sure did. Did we kill a whole bunch of Indians? Yep, we sure did. Was it right? Nope, it was not right. Uh, there's nothing we can do about that now. My generation had nothing to do with that. My generation owes nobody 
uh, anything for that. It happened. It's done, unfortunately. Um, a lot of Indians died, which is not right. But uh, you guys are making a killing with the casinos. I'm just, I'm, I'm being sarcastic. So please, please don't hammer me on that. I'm sorry. I'm just, I'm, I'm joking. Okay. Um, but anyway, you know, uh, what, what, what happened to the Indians was not right, and I'll be the first to absolutely say that. But let me just, let me, let me explain something. I didn't kill any Indians. I didn't kill any black people. I didn't own any black people. Uh, no black people owned me. Uh, you know, so it, it's just, it, it's craziness how people want to deflect and blame everybody else for something else. I, I saw a thing that I actually thought was freaking hysterical. Uh, with somebody from America was saying, oh, well, you know, blacks have been oppressed for 400 years um, in the United States, you know, with slavery first and, and you know, now they're, they're so downtrodden. Let's, let's clarify something, guys. And I mean, and, 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 you know, yeah, okay, I'm a white man. Okay, and I'm going to say it like it is, and if you don't like it, I'm sorry that you're not going to like it, but I'm going to be 100% honest. If you are black and in the United States of America right now, you have more advantages than anybody else. Anybody else. Um, it is amazing to me, and yet still, because a lot of black people do not decide to excel. And here's something that I find funny, okay? Let's, let's go back a second with this, okay? If you have a black man who is educated and speaks proper English and doesn't uh, do the whole shuck and jive thing, and there's a lot of white people that do the shuck and jive thing too, so please do not hammer me on this. I'm not just trying to isolate something here, okay? But if you have a black man who speaks proper English that is educated, what do black people call him? Well, he's an Uncle Tom, of course. He's sold out. No, he's just a human being that has decided to elevate himself because of his intelligence or her intelligence, let's clarify that, to make their life better. But so many people were going to say, well, what up? They sold out. They're an Uncle Tom. You know, they want to act like they're white. Why do you have to act a certain way? Why do you, and, and this is my question, and this is my question to black people, okay? Why do you hate somebody in your own community that has been become successful and god i hate using those terms okay because it's like we're all americans here okay regardless of our color we are all americans but unfortunately if a certain group of people would like to separate themselves and it happens all the time guys okay white people will separate themselves in a certain area uh black people will se separate themselves in a certain area um asian people will assert, assert them or put themselves in a certain area be it japanese be it Chinese or whatever, you're going to put yourself in a certain area and hang out with your own kind, per se, okay? And it happens all the time. It's self-segregation, which is unnecessary, okay? It really, truly, truly is. You know, it has gotten better in the United States, I will say that. But the thing is, <clears throat> I don't know, I'm, I'm, I'm ranting away here, okay? Because I've I just seen so many people uh, talking about how wonderful it is that these white farmers are being raped and murdered and it's payback and all this type of stuff. Well, the ones that are there now did not do the killing, okay? They did not steal that land, okay? Maybe their ancestors did, and a lot of them didn't, guys. That's the whole point, too. A lot of them came over there and bought that land, and now it's all getting taken away just because they're white. That's not fair. That's not fair, okay? I'm sorry. If somebody stole the land, and I know that there's, we are saying that, uh, like 78% or 90% of the land is owned by white people, okay? And then, of course, I got hammered on because I, I said, oh, you're saying that blacks, that blacks can't farm, you know? No, what I was saying was, and I'm using the exa uh, example of Zimbabwe, when I was talking about Zimbabwe, how they killed off and drove out all the white farmers, okay? And then the country went to crap as far as farming went, and uh, because of piss poor management by the government, okay? The same thing will probably happen in South Africa. That was my point. Not because, oh, blacks can't farm. Well, sure they can farm. But the thing is, if you have somebody that's running a farm that knows what they're doing and you get rid of them, regardless of what color they are, folks, okay? And then you bring in somebody else that does no, have no idea what they're doing and have them try to manage that farm, it's not going to be successful, okay? 
So that was my point with that whole thing. So thank you for calling me a racist. I appreciate it. I'm a horrible person. Terrible, terrible. I'm a hillbilly who lives up in the hills, even though I've only lived here for three years. <laughs> it's crazy. It's crazy, crazy the number of people that, uh, oh, of course, now I'm ringing here. Oh, hold on, guys, hold on. Yes. 3.30. Okay, all right. Okay, yep, bye. Ex-wife. Sorry, I had to answer that one. Um, she's just making sure what time we were meeting. Eddie's going to his mom's this weekend. Heather is not. Um, sorry about that, folks. I apologize. So anyway, um, you know, here's the thing. And I was going back to my point about America right now and how if you are black or Hispanic or a woman or anybody else of color that you have every advantage of in the world, which you do, you get extra points on uh, civil service exams. Um, and I'm going to give a good example of that, okay? Way back when, 25 plus years ago when I was a young man, uh, I was had applied to work for the state of New York with uh, Monroe Developmental Center, which is, was working with the mentally retarded people, okay? Uh, I had to take a civil service exam because at the time I was applying for uh, basically it's a, they called it a mahara, but it's basically a nursing assistant position. Okay, so I had to take a civil service test, which I scored 98 on my civil service test. Just so you know, because I'm a stupid hillbilly. Um, anyway, so we get to our first day of orientation, and there's a whole bunch of us, some white people, some black people, sitting around here table so we start talking about what you score on the civil service test now all the white people had scored 95 or better on their civil service test a lot of the black people had scored in the 70s on their civil service test but they got an extra 20 points because they were black okay which boosts their 78 score to a 98 score which put them at the top of the list to be hired now, is that fair? I don't see how it is. Um, you know, so basically if you're... Oh, wait, here, I'm going to show you real quick. There she is. There's that new kitty. Um, she has not come up to us yet. We're still working on it. Uh, I think she will. It's just taking some time. But she's a nice little girl. Yes, I see you! She's very vocal, too. Very, very vocal. So uh, Heather was have been trying to work with her, trying to get her to come to her. But we're still feeding her, and she's hanging out, so we'll see what happens. But, uh, yeah, we'll probably end up with another freaking cat here. So anyway, but like I said, that's how it was. And this is back in, uh, what, the 1990s, okay? So, you know, it is what it is. And uh, But that's how the system is set up. So... As a person of color, be it black, Hispanic, Asian, if you are in the United States of America, you have that opportunity that you can have, take advantage of, which you should take advantage of, um, you know, to get ahead. Now, I heard the, the term white privilege being used, and I actually had to laugh at that because I, I'm, I was born, you know, not with no silver spoon in my mouth, I can guarantee you that. Uh, I can remember sleeping on a mattress in the floor, our front porch was our refrigerator because it was winter time because we did not have a refrigerator and I can remember collecting uh, back then they didn't have the bottle return law but they did have the bigger bottles of pop that they would do a return on and uh, collecting those and taking that dollar eighty that I got for that and giving it to my mother so that we could you know have food I remember those days folks so don't tell me how I'm all privileged because I'm white anyhow so I'm done with my rant today guys um, I just, I'm very disappointed, I think, overall, that's the, probably the point that I'm trying to make, that people are saying that it's okay to rape and kill people because of something that happened over a hundred years ago, which they had nothing to do with, okay? It, that's not right, okay? Now, have there been injustices? Have there been travity, tra travesties that have happened in the world? Absolutely. Okay, but the thing is, people alive right now had nothing to do with that. So for people to say, well, it's justified to go ahead. Now, here's the thing is, 
should people of any color be able to have this farmland and, and work on this farmland? I believe yes, they should, okay? But it doesn't justify murdering, raping, and killing and taking it back that way or taking it back and saying, okay, screw you, you're out, okay? That is not right. I don't care who you are. And if it was the shoe was on the other foot, blacks would be going absolutely bananas, okay? They would go nuts over something like that. So anyway, so that being said, I kind of wanted to do a follow-up on that video and uh, talk about that. So I'm waiting for the hate, folks. I'm ready for the hate. Lay it on me. I got broad shoulders. All right, guys. Um, I hope everybody's doing well, and I uh, hope you're all having a good day. I hope you're having a really enjoyable weekend. Uh, I will talk to you all tomorrow. And uh, remember, hug and kiss the ones you love. Tell them every single day. Tomorrow's not guaranteed. Um, and remember, STD. It's one step at a time, one thing at a time, and one day at a time. Um, also, the website is now open and available. So that link will also be down in the description below. If you're interested, go check out our new, our new website. And uh, so anyway, guys, listen, I hope everybody's doing well, and I will talk to you all tomorrow, okay? Prepper Nurse 1, out for now.